Okay. Uh, this is for the Pythagorean spiral. This is the procedure. I've already got my one inch line here drawn. First thing I want to do is get a line that's perpendicular to that. So I swing an arc out here, keep my compass the same size, swing another one down here. Okay. Now I need to find where my line would cross this second arc out here and it looks like right there. I'm using a ruler to do that. You can't see it, but I'm using a ruler to do that. Now I'm going to take my compass, put it on the intersection, and I need to make sure I open it so that it is over halfway. Because now this is my midpoint. So now I'm going to just swing an arc out here. Keep it the same length. Move it to this intersection that I marked. And swing an arc up here. That is now um, the line through that cross will be perpendicular. I just now have to measure my one inch line. And that looks I gotta open this so that it is the right length. Right in there. Okay. Now I put that on the edge and swing an arc up here so I know where my line stops. And I draw my line from the edge of my point through the cross to the arc. And to make my first triangle, I go from end point to end point. Now I've got to do this again. Oops. I've got to do this again and go perpendicular to my new hypotenuse. So I do the same thing. I go on the edge of my line out here. Shrink this down some. Swing an arc. Swing an arc out here. And then swing another one out here on the top. You can find where that line intersects. Again, I'm doing this with a ruler that you can't see. But I'm going to find where that intersects right in here. I'm going to go to that intersection right there. Make sure I'm open over halfway and swing an arc. Move to my second intersection. Oops. Right up here and swing an arc so that I have a cross. Now this line still has to be one inch. I am going to measure my one inch line again, make sure it's all the same length. I'm going to turn that so that it is. Oops, can't get there. Let's do it this way. Okay, right there at one inch. So now I go back to my edge. And I swing an arc where that line needs to stop. And it looks like right at my cross. Okay, so now I draw a line from my point through the cross and stops at my arc. That is now my second triangle. Okay, now to figure out how long these things are, you're just going to repeat that process until it spirals all the way around. Now to figure out how long these things are, we're just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. I know that this length I know that this length is 1 and this length is 1. So I do the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of my hypotenuse. 1 squared plus 1 squared equals c squared. So 1 plus 1 equals c squared. So c squared equals 2. c is the square root of 2. That is the length of this hypotenuse right here. Now I made this length here 1. That will be 1 all the way around as I go. So now I need to do the Pythagorean theorem with these two. So 1 squared plus the square root of 2 equals squared equals 
c squared. So 1 plus 2 equals c squared. So 3 equals c squared. So c is the square root of 3. That is this length. And we repeat that process um, all the way around to find each length. Okay? If you have any questions, we'll talk. Come see me. We'll figure it out.